back to Let's Play Rogue Galaxy. Last time in our video, we did some post-desert looting. And apparently... I think we're gonna go back to the desert. Because we kinda activated the for the storyline, so yeah. We'll, be, we'll finish up our loot desert. We've loot come this far. Now all we have to do is go there. And when we're done, time to head towards Aiden. Alright, now. I told you, come see me when you're ready. Don't make me repeat myself. Ah, shit. Then what are you waiting for? We gotta set out for Eden. Grab your gear and let's get moving. system. Walk over there. Oh, now that's a gorgeous planet. That must be. Soon enough. Look! Is that some kind of tractor beam? It's like they're inviting us in or something. As if they always knew that we'd be coming. I don't know. I'm not buying it. Don't you think it's kind of unusual? That such a civilized bunch that let us outsiders just waltz right on in like this? Yeah, but... What else can we do after coming all this way? We've got to take our chances and land. What's your take on it, Captain? Just like Jaster said. Ain't no use in running and hiding now. We might as well accept their hospitality. Yes, sir. We'll follow their guide beam, then. Ah. 
What's that? Survive an attack from the big guns. someone on our side for once, isn't it? Hey, don't they look like the robot we met in the labyrinth? I think you're right. They must live on this planet. They're trying to protect us. Well, if that's true, that must mean Eden didn't send the beasts in the first place. Captain, the big guns are charged up and ready to fire. About time. Have a taste of this, you build scum. All right, let him have it, Steve. Fire! Firing big guns! a run for our money, though. Oh, thank goodness. There! That'll teach you to mess with us! You stinking piles of crap! <laughs> <laughs> hey! It looks like they're escorting us down to their city. like the city goes on forever. That's strange. For some reason, it feels so familiar here. Of course it does. It's because you were born here. But 
I was just a baby when I... Still... I feel kind of nervous. Hey, look at that. They're coming to greet us. She must be some kind of big shot around here. Welcome to Mariglan. You have journeyed far. This place is known throughout the galaxy as Eden. I am Fradius, the queen of this planet. We have been waiting for your arrival for a long time. <sighs> Welcome home, Iria. Do you remember me? Are you... my mother? What's all this? So Kisala must be. That's right. She's the daughter of the Queen of Mariglen. That makes her a princess. Jester! You knew all about this? Well, uh, Kisala asked me not to tell anyone. Why you? I'm gonna murder <laughs> you! <laughs> Welcome to Mari Glen. You must be weary from your journey. Please, rest here for a spell to regain your strength. By the way, Mrs. Queen, I heard Eden, eh, Mary Glen, holds the most prized treasure in the universe. I'm really fixing to know exactly what kind of treasure they could be talking about. Think you could show me? Most prized treasure, you say? Well... I'm not sure whether they qualify exactly, but we do have an abundance of precious stones and the like here on our planet. But I am not sure as to whether they are the treasures you seek. Well, what do you know about this eternal soul thing? Cause I, uh, well, as a pirate, you see, the thing is, um, I'd really like to get my hands on it, so, um, yeah. <sighs> How could you say that? Come on. This is what we pirates do, Kisala. Eternal soul. Yes, the eternal soul does indeed exist on this planet. Oh, -ho, then it's true. Uh, wonder if you couldn't, uh, you know, let us uh, have it? Uh, Papa, will you cut it out? Papa? So you must be the one who raised Irius. I don't know how I can ever thank you for what you've done. Very well then. You shall have all the treasures you can find on Mari Glen. Really? Do you mean it? And the eternal soul too? That, unfortunately, we do not have. For that, you'll have to see Mother. Mother? Okay, sounds good. So all we have to do is go ask this Mother person then? I'm afraid that is not possible. Mother never deigns to listen to us. Seems I'll need to tell you everything. The sad tale of Mari Glen. I shall reveal to you how we ended up where we are today. Once upon a time, Mari Glen was the most technologically advanced planet in the entire Wilherser system. But one day, the evil energy known as Rune appeared on our planet and began to eat away at Mari Glen. Rune is composed of forbidden energy that gives life to the lifeless. As I'm sure you have already witnessed firsthand, those who fall victim to the Rune gain new life as monsters. Rune does not discriminate. No one can withstand its influence. Even worse, 
The rune monsters on this planet are several times stronger than those you've encountered in the Wilherser system. This is because Mari Glen is home to a fearsome force that is the source of all rune. Mother. I see. So, Mother is the cause of all the beasts that exist throughout the galaxy. Exactly. Once our planet was in Mother's grip, there was nothing we could do, except to wait for the inevitable. The room that Mother released would eventually strip this planet bare. And once our world was destroyed, it would move on to another planet and repeat the same process. Rune is like a voracious microbe that feasts on planets. We quickly realized that unless we somehow stopped her, Mother would eventually destroy the entire galaxy. That is why I decided to seal Mari Glen into a space-time cleft, into a galaxy in a different dimension. That was the only choice we had. Everything we did was for the protection of our beautiful galaxy. So, you sacrificed yourself to save the galaxy. How very sad indeed. I wish there was another way we could stop Mother. But unfortunately, we had no choice. You must understand, I love this planet very much. I could not hand it over to Mother without a fight. Desperately, I tried to figure out a way to save it somehow. There is only one person who could stand up against Mother and win. And that is the Star King they spoke of in Legends. Our greatest prophets predicted that the one who carried the Star King's soul would appear in 10,000 years. Believing their words, I sent Ragnar to each planet in Wilherser, placing keys on each one that could open the gate to our world. It was a gate that only the one with the Star King's powers could open. It was the gate of hope. Arieth, you were still just a baby back then. I was sure you could live in peace during the reign of the Star King. So I left you to Ragnar. I did not want to see you grow up in a world controlled by Mother. I wanted you to carry the blood of the Mari Glen people into the future. Mom... After we made all the preparations, we waited many long years for you to open the gates of time and arrive on our planet. So that's how it happened. Now that the gate has been unsealed, Mother is sure to use it to bring her malice to other planets, just as soon as she destroys Mari Glen. Please, help us defeat Mother and bring peace to this planet, as well as the entire galaxy. I get it now, Mrs. Queen. Just leave it to us, all right? Yeah. I don't know if I'm as strong as all that, but I'm prepared to give it a shot. We'll fight for you, Mom. I promise. For this planet and our entire galaxy, we're gonna defeat Mother. Thank you, Irieth. And thank you all so much. I believe in you. I believe in your powers. Please help us Mari Glendens learn to smile again. A man named Yuvan waits for you near the south gate. Go speak with him. He will lead you on your way. Go forth, brave warriors. Wait, let me get this straight. Pirates fighting to save someone? Since when are we so charitable? Yeah, well, what about it? Look, this planet is drowning in riches. What a terrible waste it would be if it all got eaten up by Rune. We'll get our share of them as a reward, I'm sure. Trust me, Zegrim. Hmm, if you say so. Besides, have you taken a good look at Kisala's ma? She's a looker. <laughs> How can you say no to a woman like that, huh? <laughs> 
I figured as much. Take out the, the end of the video and come back. 